everybody on YouTube. I'm going to make this short, simple, and straight to the point because uh, I have found very few places on the internet that helped me with my issue. I was about to return my radio because I thought it was faulty or it just wasn't going to work with my vehicle. My vehicle happens to be a 96 Ford Explorer, and uh, if you're watching this video, the problem you're most likely having is you plug in your radio, it turns on, it lights up, but there's no sound. So, what you need to do, it's a very simple fix. Uh, most of these older vehicles, they have an amplifier underneath here. And uh, whenever you uh, rewire everything with your harness up to your new radio, uh, it doesn't give direct power to that amplifier. So what you have to do, and it's not down here um, on the radio, and uh, I'll come right back real quick. I'm going to unhook all this so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Guys, as you can see, I've unhooked the harness because I wanted to show you guys what everything looks like. These are the connections that are already in your vehicle. You don't want to mess with those. That's what these uh, harnesses are great for. You buy them separately from your radio. You don't want to start splicing into the wires on your car um, directly to your radio harness that comes with your radio because if it doesn't work, then you're going to have a mess with your car. That's what these harnesses you buy separately are fantastic for. You just uh, splice the wires on this harness here that comes with your radio to the wires that come with the extra harnesses you buy separately. And as you can see, this has a bunch of different uh, ports on it. Uh, you just use the ones that um, go to your vehicle, which mine has two and uh, two of these match up to it. So that's fantastic. But anyway, let's make this short and simple to the point. Um, your issue is you have no sound, but you have power to your vehicle. So uh, once you've done everything you're supposed to do, you take your uh, harness, which is this one that uh, came with your radio, start splicing them all up to the harness you bought separately. Um, pretty simple, you know, you got two wires, all color-coded, um, ones with the lines through them, for example, uh, not this orange one, but I don't know, take the green one, for example, you'll have a green, a set of green wires, one has a black wire through it, that's a ground, match it to the one with the black wire through it on the other end, pretty simple. And then sometimes you'll have wires you don't use, like this orange one. It's actually for the dimmer on a radio, but in this radio's case, it's a cheaper radio. It doesn't have a dimmer on it, so you just simply won't use it. I'd put some tape over it, uh, electrical tape, of course, uh, so you don't uh, have a short out whenever you put it in there. Okay, guys, I've prolonged it long enough. Here it is. So what you do, once you've got all your stuff hooked up, uh, it's always one wire to another wire, except for the ground. You might have your main ground wire that's black, you occasionally um, have more than one ground wire. You can connect them all together. As you can see, I've got three different grounds. I just got them all connected together. But whenever you, uh, you've done all this, in this particular radio, the radio harness um, did not have a blue wire. It does have a blue wire, but that's not the one that uh, we're having our issue with today. Uh, it, uh, there's a blue wire that comes off uh, your car, which is put into this extra harness. As you can see, you've got two blue wires here, one with a white line through it and one that's just plain blue. Uh, you would think, well, the white line means ground and blue is something else, you know, it's for a speaker or something. Well, no, each of those blue wires are for something completely different. The one that is solid blue is for what's known as a power antenna. That's not your issue with the sound, so you can ignore that wire completely, unless you have a power antenna or something, but I don't. As you can see, uh, the white line blue wire, it actually says in very small print on it, it's for an amplifier. Uh, this vehicle of mine, 2001, or 2001, 96 Ford Explorer, um, it has an amplifier in it, and a lot of the newer vehicles don't have the issue, you know, it's all built in, and you don't have this issue, but some of the older ones, you, it comes with this problem, some of the newer ones too, but, uh, on the radio harness that came with my radio, there is no connection to connect this amplifier wire into, so whenever you get everything hooked up, you plug it all in, your radio turns on, but you have no power, so what you need to do, simple fix, I know I drug this on long enough, but all you got to do is take that wire, the blue one with the white line through it, and you plug it in to your red wires. You have your two red wires already connected. That's your power. Uh, you have actually have two power lines on your radio harness, a yellow and a red. Uh, do not plug your blue wire into your yellow one. The yellow one is constant power. It's basically running power from your battery to the radio and it's always giving it power. It will drain your battery if you plug your amplifier into that wire. So do not use the yellow power line. Uh, the red power line is the one you want to use. So whenever you're hooking all these up and you see that you have a white blue uh, wire there, it's almost always going to be an amplifier wire. Uh, if you notice that your radio uh, wire and harness that came with your radio does not have a connection to that, 
all you got to do is connect it to the red wire your your two red wires i just took all three of them together since there's so many harnesses on this uh, you don't actually need all these harnesses another thing you could do which i thought about doing but you know it doesn't matter you can just connect it all to the one spot but i was i stripped a, one of the red wires off one of the harnesses i don't need and i was going to use it to power power that amplifier so you know it's just two wires but it's not going to make a difference so that's the fix guys it's really really simple and i know i probably prolonged this video way longer than i needed to but i wanted to explain it the best i could because i've seen so many things on the internet that are not helpful i've spent 24 hours trying to figure this out and i actually found something on the internet that showed me this but it was like this long drawn out video that didn't need to be so long and drawn out longer and drawn out than what mine is but anyway that's all you gotta do guys i plugged it in everything works great uh if you're having issues still feel free to leave me a comment i'll try to help you the best i can but it's pretty straightforward um i i know i did a lot of explaining about the harness and stuff that's not the main topic of what you guys are having issues with i'm sure most of you're like hey i know how to hook up a radio you idiot just show me what i came here for well if you came here for uh the, the reason i have in the title you're not getting sound and your radio is turned on um you just got to find this blue wire with the white line through it and connect it to your red power line and boom you got power to your amplifier and you've got uh, sound for your vehicle so i hope this helped you guys out uh if it did please leave a like subscribe to my channel if you'd like to you know like to be a part of my channel i don't upload a whole bunch of stuff anymore but uh, i still do appreciate it so thank you guys very much and i hope this helped i'm i'm really excited let's get it put in and let's get the jams going and why not i'll show you guys that it worked too okay everything's hooked up let's turn the key on keys on this radio is a cheapy i have to say but i don't mind cheap as long as it works i turn the power on to it there it is there we go listen to that static wow that's loud man i'm happy i'll get my antenna hooked up we'll have some radio stations and more importantly my auxiliary port for my phone and i guess it's got a usb too and it even has bluetooth capabilities so what the heck thank you guys